fucking jump. Look at this beauty. Listen to that big block. Hey guys and gals, welcome to another episode of Harry's Hot Rod Garage. Today we're here with Mike Bordy. How you doing, Mike? Good, Harry. Good to see you. Thank you for sharing your time and your car with us. He's got a beautiful yellow, right? Can you tell? <laughs> 73 big block Corvette. Tell us a little bit about it, Mike. Well, Harry, I retired a couple of years ago and I uh, wanted to get another Corvette. I had one 40 years ago, oh. back in the day. It was a convertible, it was a big block, and uh, once you have a big block, you can never go back. So <laughs> I saw this on Facebook Marketplace. I went up to North Jersey in Oxford uh, to a guy that was just getting older and wanted to unload it. He had it for about 12 years, garage kept, numbers matching, and uh, it was so clean I had to get it. It had original 35,000 miles on it. Boy, oh boy, I'll tell you, it is one beautiful car. We're going to do a walk around, guys, and maybe I can entice him to take us for a ride too, okay? Stay tuned. Okay, Mike, tell me a little bit about your car. Well, Harry, uh, this does have a one repaint. It's probably about 15 years old. It's uh, just regular yellow. There is a metallic yellow that year. This is 952. Um, it has the uh, BF Goodrich radial TAs with the rally wheels. Um, it's a Stingray. It's got the uh, side exhaust, the original stock. Yeah, nothing sells better than that, I'll tell you. Uh, the rear view mirror, it doesn't have the option for the passenger side, but I left it that way just because that's the way it was ordered. Um, so as we walk around the back, I love the convertibles. And uh, the car just rides beautiful. Um, we have the alarm system in the back, factory alarm that does work. In fact, everything works on the car. That's great. That uh, makes it nice. I really like your... Um Custom license plate. Tell me about it. And why, and, why, and why is this car so rare? Tell me about the options. Well, it wasn't my first choice. I wanted to get big block 454. All those were taken. So this was actually my third choice. But it is rare in that sense. Um, out of the 30,000 plus cars that were made this year, uh, just a little over 4,000 were convertibles. So in that sense, it's rare. It yes. does have um, a big block with air conditioning. Um, the interior is all leather. It's got um, power steering, power brakes, uh, four, four wheel disc brakes. Uh, also, uh, it's got um, tilt telescopic wheel. Oh, that's great. A lot of comforts. A lot yeah, of, a lot of really nice things does. this car does. Someone thought a lot about it before they ordered this car. Yeah, they, they, did. they got everything it's they got wanted. A lot of options. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Okay, let me walk around here. This yellow really stands out. It's really pretty. I like it. We're going to look at the interior in a minute, but I want to finish walking around here. Them side pipes look great too, the factory yeah, ones. they sound great. They do sound good. And what I really want to check out is this here. 454, baby. Let's check that thing out. Okay, Mike, tell me about this beast of an engine you got in this thing. Well, first of all, it's the reason why I bought the car, Harry. It's really a beautiful engine. It uh, runs real, real well. I, I just had the four, four bower, uh Rochester rebuilt uh, this year and so it really has been running great. The uh, engine bay when I first bought it was a little rough so that's what I've, de I've detailed myself so it's not body off restored but it certainly looks close so oh, I've replaced great. things like the shielding I've replaced the, the top of the uh, master, master cylinder. cylinder some of the reservoir tanks you know I painted the original orange Chevy orange engine the manifold, the valve covers, and then just recently had the uh, the fan and the clutch replaced. Yeah, I was looking at that fan. I can see like it's the fan blades that have the nuts. They're really hard to come by. Where did you even find one? Well, I jumped on a Corvette forum and found a guy in Arizona that had one, and uh, they're not cheap, Harry. I can replace. imagine. But it was nice to be able to get one that was original because you just can't get them. Yeah, that's great. Well, it's really nice. I'll tell you, it's a beautiful car. Thank you. Okay, Mike, tell us a little bit about your interior. Well, Harry, I really love the leather interior. That's and nice. uh, it's a pretty good shape. Uh, just added a few aftermarket things, the cushion for the console, that'll help protect that from cracking. Yeah. And my cup holder. But other than that, we're all original in here. 
I did add the uh, the dry extinguisher. Uh, okay. You just never know. Some of the car shows make sure oh, you yes. have them in. A lot of the shows these days, you have to have it yeah, in order to, to be a part of the show. So that's good. So I mean, this past winter, I took care of the console. I replaced a lot of the, uh, for example, the heater and air conditioner controls. Oh, okay. Brand new after uh, aftermarket. A lot yes. of the labels and the emblems all touched up and made sure it's brand new. Well, it looks great, and I like that tilt wheel too. It gives you a little more room. Tilt telescopic wheel. Yes. Yeah. Helps. Well, very but nice. other than that, the car is in really good shape. A lot of originality. I'm trying to yes. keep it that way. No, that's good. I mean, if you were far away from being original, then you just modify it and do different things yeah. with it. But since you're so close to being keep it all original, way. I would like to keep it that way too. Absolutely. I mean, them engineers in Chevrolet weren't no dummies, so <laughs> they must have had something right, you know. Yeah, the guys kept this garage for all these years. You know, that's was great. Really happy. The panels are the deluxe, and there's no cracks in I know. Them. I noticed that. I thought and they were brand rare. new. Boy, they look great. That's pretty rare. I may end up this year replacing the carpeting, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with the condition. Well, I'm glad you're happy with it, and I just want to thank you again for sharing your time in your car with us. It's really nice. Is there any chance you could uh, take me for a ride? Absolutely. I would love to. That's why okay. we buy these things. Okay, brother. Let's do it. Let's hear a rumble. Okay, Mike, let's start this baby up. All right. Boy, that big block sounds good. Let's take this baby for a ride. Who needs a radio when you can yeah. listen to that exhaust? I don't think I've ever turned the radio on in the last two years I've had it. <laughs> That's great. They say it works. <laughs> a lot of those beeps when people drive by. Yeah, oh yeah. Joe Castle for introducing me to Mike. And Mike, thanks again for sharing your car with us. Stay tuned for the next episode. 
How about giving Harry a thumbs up? Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Harry's Hot Rod Garage. And don't forget to thank a veteran today.